Hello. <laughs> Good morning. Absolutely an earnest apology for starting late. Uh, there is a little Bombay traffic bout which we undereducated <laughs> Delhi people do not know about. And we completely miscalculated the time and uh, got stuck in the road. Absolutely, we're terribly sorry for this. But a very, very warm welcome, of course, to the uh, third session uh, of our international seminar, Who Shrinks My Theatre? And uh, today's subject is uh, focusing on the perspective of the acting from the perspective of the actors. And uh, we are very happy to have with us Mr. Kamlakar Suntak is the chair. And uh, Mr. Sontake, uh, born in the village of uh, Wadud Chata in the Aurangabad district of Maharashtra, uh, Maharashtra uh, is a well-known director and actor in the Hindi and Marathi theatre. He is also uh, known as, the, as an art administrator. He holds a master's degree in Hindi from the Dr. Baba Sahib Ma Marathwara University, Aurangabad and was trained in theatre at the National School of Drama, New Delhi, where he took his diploma in 1966. His teachers at NSD were eminent figures in theatre, such as Ibrahim Alkazi, Nimichandra Jain, Sheila Bhatia, Govardhan Panchal, and Panchanan Pathak. Sri Sontakke taught speech, acting, and production at the school from 1966 to 1968. Subsequently, he established the Department of Theatre at Dr. Baba Sahib Ambedkar Marathwara University and headed the department from 1972 to 1970. In later years, he has served as director of the South Central Zone Cultural Center, Nagpur, 1986-91, and has headed the Nehru Center in Mumbai, 1992-1999. Sri Sontakke has directed over 40 plays in Hindi, Marathi, English, and Gujarati. He has acted in more than 20 plays. He has translated a number of classic and contemporary plays in various languages into Hindi, such as Vishakhadatta's Mudra Rakshasa, Vasa's Madhyam Vayaga, Tendulkar's uh, Hamosh Adalat Chalu Ahe, Siti Khanulkar's Ek Shunya Bajirao, Ji Shankara Pillai's uh, Sharashavan, uh, Madhukar uh, Torarmal's uh, Kishandeep, and Mahesh El Kunchwar's Sultan. He has written on theatre in Hindi and Marathi periodicals and has presented papers at seminars on the performing arts. Sri Sontakke has been actively involved in organizing major festivals of arts such as Apna Utsav in Delhi 1986 and Mumbai 1989. He has also been associated with international events organized by the government of India in France, Mauritius, Japan and the United Kingdom. He has an advisor to several institutions in planning and building theatres and arts. Art, arts complexes. For his services in th to theatre, Sri Sontakke has been confirmed the Kala Gaurav Puraskar 2003 of the government of Maharashtra. Sri Kamlakar Sontakke receives the Sangeet Natak Academy Award for his contribution to Indian theatre as a director. We have with us as speakers uh, uh, none other than Ms. Ileana Sitaristi. Ms. Ileana Sitaristi is an Italian born Odyssey and Chow dancer and dance instructor based in Bhuvneshwar, India. She was awarded the 43rd National Film Awards for the Best Choreography for Ugaant in 1995 and became in 2006 the first dancer of foreign origin to be conferred the Padma Shri for her contributions in o Odyssey. Uh, Sitaristi studied Odyssey under Guru Keluchar and Mahapatra and started her own school of dance in 1994. Sitaristi is also an exponent of the Mayurvan Chow, which she learnt under the tutelage of Guru Hari Nayak and holds the title of an Acharya of Chow from the Sangeet Mahavidyalaya Bhuvaneshwar. She founded the Art Vision Academy in 1996, which acts as a platform for sharing ideas between various artistic forms such as theatre, music, dance and painting. The Academy also conducts classes in Odyssey and show a very, very warm welcome to Ms. Eliana Sitaristi. And we also have with us uh, one of the doyen of uh, theatre, Ms. Nina Kulkarni. Uh, she is an Indian actress, model, column writer, producer and director. She began her acting career in the 1970s on Marathi professional stage and Hindi experimental stage along with fashion shows and modeling simultaneously. She met Pandit Satyadev Dube, uh, her first guru and went on to be a part of several Hindi productions under his direction. Mohan Rakesh's Adhe Adhure, Shankar Shesh, Maya Visha Sarovar, Willie Russell's Educating Rita are a few of her prominent plays. Dr. Vijay Mehta chose her 
to play Shabbo in Anil Varve's Hamida Bai Kichi Koti in 1978 and thus began her long journey with Bai into the remarkable work of, world of Marathi theatre with Mahasagar and Savitri. She continues to assist Bai in her workshops. Mahasagar, uh, Akasmat, uh, Dhyani Mani, uh, Vadvat Savitri, uh, Dehavan Prem Patra, Hamida Bai Chi Koti, uh, Chapa Kata are some more of her successful award winning Natya Darpan State Awards, Natya Parishad Recognition Marathi Plays, directed the play Mahasagar in 2011. Mahatma vs. Gandhi Wedding Album English Plays. Her prominent Marathi films are Savat Mazi Larki, State Award Best Actress, I, I, Uttaran, Shavri, for which she won the National Award and PIFF Award as Producer, Sari vs. Sari, State Award Best Supporting, Bioscope, Filmfare Best Supporting, her latest television show, show Ye Hai Mohabate, running its uh, fourth year. International projects, the best exotic Marigold Hotel, Rani, in eight-part series in the French language, telecast on, on Channel France 2. We also have with us uh, Mr. Milin uh, Malse, who is, uh, sorry, I'm, I'm so sorry, <laughs> I'm terribly sorry, uh, Mr. Milin Shinde. And of course, he doesn't need any uh, introduction, particularly to this city. No, but for the uh, occasion, uh, I would say a few words about him. Uh, he acted in one of his um, early uh, work, was uh, performing in Zulva uh, with Mr. Vaman Kendre, which had absolutely shot him to uh, fame and attention. And he is a regular uh, actor of many, many Marathi theatre pieces and television and films. And he has won several state and national awards. And a very warm welcome to all these people. Now I request uh, the chair and the other three speakers to kindly come up onto the stage. And if I may request uh, Professor Shafat Khan to kindly come up and offer flowers to our distinguished speakers. I'm so sorry for Thank you so much, Professor Khan. And now we start our session. I would request uh, our chair to uh, start the presiding. Thank you. Thank you, Shantanu. And I'm happy to have a few new faces today in the auditorium. Welcome to them also. Uh, friends, yesterday it was the first day of the seminar, and when Shantanu introduces people, it's a matter of great pride. Lagta hai ka aapko ek naye se apnai parichay mil raha ho. So Shantanu, <laughs> thankful to your good words. Yesterday, we followed a pattern in the seminar that each of the artists presented his views, and uh, we didn't had uh, rather scope for interaction for two reasons because the views expressed by the experts the viewers and the audience members were not probably equipped to go with them because of the foreign experience on one hand and even a different point of view of the speaker but in case we have time we'll definitely have a couple of questions I'll not take your time Sawal wahi hai, mera theater kyun sikud raha hai? Kaun uske liye aagat kar raha hai? I will leave it to my speakers and we'll start with 
बघूया ना भाऊ काय होतंय ते मिलिंद शिंदे प्लीज थँक्यू सर ऑल ग्रेट पर्सनॅलिटीज ऑन द डायस कमला कर्जी सोन टक्के एलियाना जी अँड ग्रेट ॲक्ट्रेस नीनाजी कुलकर्णी अँड माय फ्रेंड यशराज हु आर सम हाऊ मेंटर ऑफ माइंड बिकॉज विदाउट हिम इट इज बीन पॉसिबल टू बी हिअर बिकॉज इट वॉज अहमदनगर अँड आय वॉज इट्स वॉल स्मॉल सिटी अँड ही टॉट मी अँड ही शोड मी द वे to the drama school and so that will lead to this stage i am very thankful to him ah uh, coming to the point i came to this city like 18 20 years back when i recently passed through from national school of drama even that time also there was thinking there was a thought in the city that there is no theater exists apart from mumbai there are no actors exists apart from mumbai it was quite obvious that there is no training no reach no activities there but i came here i passed out school of drama then i went to ftii i landed here with a big dilemma what to do how to approach how to go forward in spite of passing of of national school of drama i used to see myself well i stand well i stand in the city as far as an actor actor i'm me actor being concerned i have to see myself a peon a security guard a postmaster so i think it's difficult to proceed with this much of my attitude towards my acting career that swinged me somehow how to proceed from this in a colorful city it is very difficult to go with non branded clothes non branded shoes and non branded attitudes so what i thought is i'll search playwright who will write for me write such characters which i can perform that all went in vain among so i collected some like minded friends and with them i used to search for the writers who write characters for me or they will write characters for me so i want to do a theater so me and my friends used to go and visit playwrights and we used to tell them that this is what i want to do this kind of theater i want to do i am from national for drama i am from fti and aspiring actor i want to be an actor so they have some stock of plays they used to give it to me and obviously i was not satisfied with it but after few days day, days of struggle being an actor i thought why not i will write a play then wow. <laughs> i will not wait for somebody to write for me and then i will perform and i will get an opportunity to act on the stage so i wrote a play yeah, it, it went well but what thinks my theater is my bridge to play right my bridge to writer my approach to writer rather i couldn't communicate rather i'm still communicating it and i think one day i'll get success into it subsequently i'm still in search of good play i don't want to think my theater activities at all so i want to explore myself more than enough i want to stretch myself out of my capacity i want to build the wall and break them on myself only secondly what thinks my theater is i came from a small city called ahmednagar after passing out from national school of drama my school wants me to go to my native place and work there i went there as yashraj told me go to drama school now i go to the people go to new students and ask them i think you can do something in the acting area please do join national school of drama in reply what i got is i will go to mumbai rather than spending 3 years in national school of drama somehow i failed somehow i failed to 
like encourage them somehow i am failed to tell them that this education is very important i think i have to go there work a lot there i want to remove this thought from them that education matters a lot but i know now every city has a theater every city has this filmmakers with the camera 5d and all and they are making films they are making short films and they are taking actor from there that it's the very city only now everybody is actor now they are acting tv serials the tv serials are being shoot they are happening in the very city only so this is like why to go to national sport drama and then go to ftir to get acting training i am here acting with you without any training <laughs> so i think when i want to do a theater i am not i haven't created atmosphere in my city to think actor ki training is important is i think all blame i take on me rather than blaming others i think i couldn't make the bridge with the playwright similarly i couldn't make the bridge with aspiring actors to get trained themselves and thirdly i think being the school of drama passed out i feel i'm a responsible citizen and i always feel that i have some responsibility this is a poem i'll tell you most probably it will hit you in hindi दंगल हुई शहर में दंगल हुई गुनेगार पकड़ने का आदेश निकला एक के बाद एक गुनेगार पकड़े गए न्यायाधीश के सामने खड़े कर दिए गए न्यायाधीश ने पूछा कौन कौन है इनमें से जिम्मेदार कौन कौन है इसमें से गुनेगार एक एक करके आरोपी आते रहे न्यायाधीश महोदय बोलते रहे कि बताओ इन्होंने क्या किया है तुम्हें बोला ये है एक दल का कार्य करता है ये दंगल भड़काता है अच्छा इसे दो कोड़े मारो और छोड़ दो है कोई और आरोपी है और है ये कौन है ये उस दल का प्रमुख है ये बहुत सारी बातें करता है और दंगल भड़काता है न्यायाधीश महोदय बोले अच्छा ऐसा है इसको सात कोड़े मारो और छोड़ दो और कोई है यस देर इज वन मो इज स्पोक्स पर्सन ऑफ दैट दल दैट पार्टी He speaks. अच्छा इसके वजह से दंगल भड़कती है इसको पंद्रह कोड़े मारवार छोड़ दो न्यायाधीश महोदय बोले और कोई है वकील साहब बोले है और एक है हो ही एक अदनास आदमी सामने आके खड़ा हुआ न्यायाधीश महोदय बोले क्या करते हो आप वकील से पूछा क्या है कौन है ये वो बोले कि ये कलाकार है न्यायाधीश महोदय ने उसको देखा ऊपर से नीचे तक कलाकार है इसको पांच हजार कोड़े मारो इस शहर में यह है और दंगल भड़कती कैसे सो आई हैव आई फील वेरी रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर दिस स्टेज फॉर दिस कंट्री फॉर दिस ह्यूमैनिटी थैंक यू वेरी मच एवरीबडी थैंक्स लॉट थैंक यू मिलिन देखा धरती से जुड़ा हुआ आदमी अपने अनुभवों से सीढ़ी तर सीढ़ी कहाँ पहुँच जाता है और जो विषय है उसके मूल में जाकर बहुत लौकिक अर्थ से उसको दर्शकों तक पहुँचाता है रियली रियली वेरी हैप्पी मिलिन मिलिन के लिए मैं हमेशा कहता रहता हूँ कि इसे लेकर शेक्सपेरियन ट्रेजिडी खेली जाए इसे लेकर इवन इटालियन कॉमेडी खेली जाए इस आदमी की टाइमिंग का सेंस जो देखा है वामन भैया के नाटक में टी फुल रानी में आज तक लोग याद करते हैं वेरी वेरी हैप्पी मिलिन नाउ इलियाना शी हैज़ बीन इंट्रोड्यूस टू यू बट टू मी एज अ थिएटर पर्सन शी इज वन ऑफ द आइडियल्स इन द फील्ड ऑफ performing arts and classical arts her experience is very vast she has worked with people at the down trodden stage to the masters in the country iliana we invite you please thank you namaskar um 
Uh, I'm very happy to be here and very honored. Um, actually, I thought um, maybe my experience uh, uh, of coming uh, from uh, Italy, where I was engaged in uh, theater, and coming to India when I became a classical dancer. So this journey could be interesting uh, for the topic which we are dealing today. Um, when I was in Italy, I was searching for an expression. So this is the why I, I, my search finally brought me to, it, to, to India. For a physical expression, uh, expression through the body. Uh, I started uh, um, in a traditional theater, um, uh, conventional theater in, uh, in Italy. Uh, it was a professional group, uh, but it was uh, um, more, uh, when I say conventional, means uh, it's more, it was more based only on uh, verbalization, on acting uh, through words. Uh, it didn't have much training behind about uh, body posture, body movement, uh, the uh, presence of the, st of the uh, actor on the stage, uh, it, uh, what kind of gesticulation. It was more based on text. And uh, although I did a little bit of Commedia dell'arte, and uh, we know that uh, Commedia dell'arte has uh, uh, characterization as characters which have very much uh, precise way of, uh, of, um, of interpreting, but those are the mask character. Uh, but if you are just normal characters, then again you fall a little bit into this kind of uh, uh, acting in which uh, text is more important. Um, probably unconsciously I was searching for something which would involve more the body and uh, I was not uh, yet clear about what I was searching for also because at that stage of rebellion in the 70s, 80s which I, I was belonging to the student revolution, to the feminist movement so whatever it was that br br was bringing us outside our house, outside our family to, contact, to, to become independent, to have an identity which was not the one which which was the bourgeois type of uh, identity. So um, theater was part of that also. Uh, but um, from there, I uh, came to um, uh, experience a different type of theater, which was the, the Grotowski, Jersey Grotowski uh, theater movement, which was, uh, um, uh, it was actually given to us um, through stage, through workshops. So it, uh, we had the possibility, all of us young people who are searching for some expression, uh, for, for, for some theater expression, um, we, we were giving the chance to, um, to uh, attend some of the workshops of the actors of uh, Grotowski, Jersey Grotowski. And, the experience uh, which I, uh, I went through in the first workshop was incredible. It was just uh, a wild type of energy which we, which we could uh, exercise and uh, creativeness uh, at the maximum. We were giving 15 days a, a place where to stay and uh, whatever idea we had, we could implement it and we could get whatever uh, props and whatever uh, things we, we needed to, to, to materialize this idea. And uh, uh, it was just uh, creativity and uh, energy as a maximum without any uh, framework of uh, when to start, when to end. Uh, you just collapse at the end of the, of the work, uh, in the middle of the night, in the middle of the day, but it was fully uh, a uh, creativeness uh, which was at work. So this was 15 days intensive workshop which I did in Italy uh, with one of the uh, actor of Jersey Grotowski was uh, Stanis uh, uh, Stasek was the younger of the group and uh, from there I had some uh, um, experience with the uh, Eugenio Barba group uh, which um, for example it was a workshop in which we had to um, be in a new place in a, in a small village in Italy and each of us was supposed to create a character and uh, uh, po populate and animate uh, the uh, environment. So it was a street theater, uh, which could uh, happen on the road, uh, on the terraces, on the roof. Uh, I mean, we were supposed to create a theater in the village. So the entire village was the stage. Um, so that time I remember that I just chose to cover myself with a black cloth and to disappear. 
I mean, it, I, I was not trained yet in, uh, in, in any uh, particular uh, form of, uh, uh, of, of uh, acrobatic or uh, steel theater or anything. So, I, so my presence was a non-presence in the, in, the, in the group. So, but that also was an experience. And then I got to um, have an experience with the Bread and Puppet Theater, uh, again through a three months workshop in Italy. And there I learned uh, techniques, like to make uh, big, big masks with paper mache and to walk on stilt uh, and uh, to create a character which would again be in the street theater but it was supposed to be created in three months with the, so I, I decided to be a, a, a horse rider and uh, with, I created my horse and my things and I, I learned how to go on stilt so uh, it was the, the mask of the bread and puppet the characters of the bread and puppet theater was were very big because we were supposed to be uh, in, on the road, a street theater, but very much uh, uh, visible. So we had to, to be very big and, uh, and uh, attractive. Uh, so so that, that was a, te uh, a type of experience again. So after all these experiences, I started to create my own group. But uh, what uh, I learned, especially from the Grotowski technique, was that we would start from improvising with the stimulus, with the, with certain team, which uh, the leader of the group would give, and uh, all the members would just react to that uh, physically, verbally, whatever uh, they wanted, vocally, uh, the most wild as form as possible. In the improvising on that, whatever reaction, a spontaneous reaction, would come from you, and from there, the leader or the director or whatever was supposed to take out take away layers by layers and trying to give and suggest some other possibility. Again, uh, um, seeing the second stage, then the third stage. Then again, by, like, by cleaning up uh, whatever the, the prov improvisation was and start to find uh, some, uh, something on which starting to work. So uh, from the wildest improvisation comes towards uh, a beginning on which starting to work for that particular um, character which we want to create. So um, this was, but how to start, uh, um, what kind of preparation we had, it was very improvised. And we, we were trying with different uh, hand, um, putting hands over the face, um, uh, shouting loudly, going up on the trees and uh, doing uh, with clothes, without clothes, projecting on. Uh, so it, it was really the starting point was the maximum uh, wild as possible. So at this point, I came to see, I happened to see one uh, demonstration by a Katakali guru in my own town in Bergamo in Italy. And I, I, I was stuck by this because whatever we were searching for, because we were searching for a grammar, which we didn't have, and we were searching for this grammar of the body by starting from all sorts of, 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 uh, of, of means. And, and, uh, and uh, we, at, this, at that point, when in front of this demonstration, I realized that this guru was telling that each mudra, each small mudra, each gesture, um, uh, it was codified. It was a precise grammar that he was presenting. And each movement uh, of each part of the body had a particular purpose, a particular meaning. So I happened to discover that this grammar, which we were searching for, um, this it was very much existing, it was very much codified, and it was possible to learn it. So for me, it was a revelation, and uh, not only for me, uh, I'm sure, but uh, many young people who were searching, and we were at that, uh, were at that point of search, uh, like me. Um, we, I went to him, to this um, act, uh, guru, uh, he was Krishna Nambudiri from Kerala, and I, I told him that it was, for me, it was a revelation, I would like to learn what, uh, what he was expressing. And, uh, he said, yes, I will, um, I'm uh, going to organize a three months workshop in uh, Sri Krishna Puram, and that is one, 1978. And uh, because I, I had the same request from many uh, young uh, theater practitioners in this tour, he said. And so in the, on the 1st of April in 1978, uh, I came to India straight to Sri Krishna Puram. 
and at 10 o'clock sharp as the starting of the workshop was there. And uh, um, this was my second trip to India. The first one was as a hippie uh, in 75, so never didn't have anything to do with dance. But this time uh, had a, spe a specific purpose to, to have this experience. And uh, it was an incredible experience uh, for three months, intensive training of having a guru, having somebody who would give you exactly what to do, and uh, whatever you were doing, uh, it was, it had a particular meaning, a purpose, and, and uh, the a discipline of the body, uh, which I probably, I was searching for, but I didn't know where to find it. So this uh, kind of experience uh, terminated after three months with the full uh, performance um, with the green patch because I wanted to experience also the makeup. I wanted to be a male character because that would give me the possibility to have this um, full makeup, uh, the white bird here, the green patch and the big mukuta and uh, this, uh, mm, this layers of cloth around me. So, and that was again a, a, an incredible experience when, when they were dressing me up for hours, and uh, I, when I got up from the entire uh, process of uh, makeup, and uh, I, I thought that I'll not be able to move. I mean, it, it, I, I was terrified <laughs> about these uh, meters and meters of cloth and uh, all this uh, big and uh, heavy mukuta. And what saved me at that point, it was that just, I look myself in the mirror, and I just <laughs> do, did some movement like this. And I understood that actually the makeup was enhancing my movement, was not uh, taking away, not uh, killing my, you know, my... So that inspiration got me safe, and I went into the, the, the stage, means uh, that small room full of all the villagers and all these things in the middle of the Kerala summer. And, and uh, I was saved, because I, I understood that, uh, in fact, all the movement also of the, of the dance were amplified by, by the... Uh, by this cloth which was putting around me. So, so that gave me the inspiration and uh, I perform whatever, the Purapadu and the uh, small uh, Nalada Mayanti, small piece of Abhinaya. And uh, at the end of this cathartic experience, where for the first time, whatever I had heard about the theory of the acting and actor, which is... Uh, uh, which is becoming the, 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 the person who, who disappear into the acting uh, and uh, um, the, the cathartic experience of, uh, of, uh, of transforming yourself into somebody else. So all these theoretic things actually I experienced. For a few seconds, a few minutes, uh, I realized that the people who are seeing me as that particular character, because also of all this uh, makeup and this transformation, physical transformation in which my identity, also physical identity, was not more visible. I was no more with my features. It was, and, and, uh, and the people who are seeing me as what I was representing. So it was a really cathartic experience which left me totally, uh, I mean, I, I couldn't just think that I would go back to Italy as if nothing had happened. Something very, very, <laughs> very strong uh, happened. A very, very, uh, very strong experience. So I, I just, um, of course, after just after finishing the, the the performance, if they were not removing my mukuta, I would have faint because really it was really heavy, heavy. But I just told Krishna Nambudiri. I, what else now? I mean, I can't go back like this. I, I, something happened, and I, I, I just can't think that uh, it is just a normal. Uh, so he, he, I just at that point, he, he told me, "Oh, there is another beauty." Because the workshop was over, the entire uh, group of Katakali actors were going in tour. So uh, there is another beautiful style, um, which is Odissi dance, and um, he had met Sanjuta Panigrai abroad. So at that point. Uh, he could have told me anything. I mean, if he was telling me to go to the moon, I would have gone to the moon. For me, Odyssey or any other, it was totally, uh, I, I didn't know anything about anything else. I, I had only this experience of Katakali with me, which watched something which transformed totally my... So, uh, so I, I crossed the country and go as, as I was with my dhoti um, longi folded up in the Kerala style. I went to, to, to uh, Sanjuta Panigrai's uh, um, address and I just said I, I've done this and this experience. So I just stayed for a couple of months there. And uh, I went back to, uh, I, I learned a little bit of Odyssey and uh, naturally the feet which were putting on the side, being put on the side like this became 
had to be put in this way, in the Odyssey style. And uh, so it, it was totally another kind of, but again, a technique, again, a grammar, again, something which we had, you, you had something to, 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 to be taught, to, to follow. And I went back and I thought that, okay, I can put up my play now by utilizing some of these movements. So it was still theater, which uh, had uh, brought me here to India. And I still thought that I could uh, adopt this uh, movement uh, into something which is, it was uh, uh, with text, uh, but utilizing all these different experiences uh, which I had before also, so, so uh, projection, uh, on, on, on uh, shadow projection, and uh, um, uh, some movement of the animals which I had learned in Katakali. And, but it was still a play. I put up a, um, a Greek uh, myth from, from, uh, from Metamorphosy, Ovid, which was um, uh, uh, Cupid uh, um, uh, and Psyche, one, one myth. And uh, after six months, I thought, okay, now if I want to continue to um, enrich my theater vocabulary with, with this kind of forms, um, I should come for one year. I should go back to India for one year and uh, learn more. So I thought that I'll be six months in Odyssey and six months in uh, Kerala. Six months in. So this time I started with Orissa, and again with this in mind, that would be only six months and just learning a technique. Um, so this time I... In the meantime, last, the previous time, I had written down in the name of uh, Sanjukta's guru, which was very long to pronounce for me, Guru Kelucharan Mohapatra, I, I really <laughs> impossible to pronounce. And uh, I, I, in my style, as if uh, I never plan, uh, plan anything, so I, I just reached the bus stand in Katak and I asked to the rickshaw, uh, rickshawala, this gentleman, I want to go to this person. So he just brought me like this to, to his house uh, without any, any introduction or anything. And I was, of course, uh, very wild and uh, with the sleeveless uh, uh, top and uh, rainbow, clothes, uh, rainbow type of uh, uh, skirt and very curling and <laughs> open air. And so, but, so Guruji, <laughs> very, <laughs> he, he, he accepted me because he was already a little bit uh, uh, exposed to, to the world whereas the rest of his family got a little bit scandalized by, by my appearance. But uh, um, so I started with him, and what happened, for six years I never went back to Italy. Everything disappeared, and, uh, theater, Kerala, Italy, and just destination was that golly, that lane, which was bringing to Guruji's house every day, not, not missing a single moment of his teaching. So... And, uh, but um, what, what, um, in the meantime, uh, I came to, uh, happened to see the Chao um, classes also. And uh, um, I was very fascinated because it was uh, a full body movement while the Odyssey uh, was, um, of course, the, the in, involved the entire body but with stress more in the, on the uh, footwork, on the hand gesture, on the facial expression. When I saw one uh, Chao class in the movement, uh, one uh, student in movement, uh, I realized that uh, that kind of uh, full body expression, which uh, I was searching also during my theater experiment uh, experience, uh, was there in the Chao dance. And it happened that it was again from Orissa. So the two things became... Uh, complementary to each other. The full body expression of the chow, which is more masculine, more energetic, more uh, with a certain kind of energy that you can say more masculine energy, and uh, the more control and more uh, um, feminine uh, odyssey became something which uh, could complement each other and uh, fulfill probably both my, my masculine and, and feminine type of uh, uh, need of expression. So what is the important thing is this, that uh, um, I suppose that at a certain point when we were starting in the West from improvisation, free improvisation, and trying to go to a codified type of uh, expression, here we were starting from the opposite. It, totally conventional codified language, which we had to go through, through imitation, through uh, continuous practice, sometimes mechanical uh, repetition and, 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 and uh, um, practice, to be able to become spontaneous with it. So the spontaneity had to be reached at the end of the process, in the, instead that in the Western uh, 
training which, uh, uh, which I had, uh, had uh, gone through, it was starting from the beginning. This one, the, the process was a sort of reversed because the, what we, in the classical dance, we, we are expected to, to achieve is that, that we are acting, we are portraying as if it is uh, absolutely a spontaneous, natural type of, it is so, so much imbibed in our body that becomes a natural portrayal, but it has gone through years and years of uh, um, um, codified uh, movements which are fixed and, uh, and uh, are being taught in a certain way which are very precise and, and uh, strict. So through this discipline and this years of, uh, of practice, you have to become spontaneous with a conventional type of, uh, of um, language. So, and uh, another thing also is uh, the difference uh, of the uh, role of the director, which was, as I said, in the uh, Grotowski or whatever uh, theater which was ha ha happening in the, in the West during those years. Uh, the director was just uh, Mm, yeah, directing in a way, not imposing, not, but uh, uh, trying to um, take away all the uh, layers of, uh, of uh, the edges uh, in, in your improvisation and guide you towards maybe slightly different diversion or trying to uh, asking you if we are not doing this, what you would do in that, and this kind of uh, guide which would at the end, uh, uh, reach a nucleus of uh, things which on which started to work, but in in the figure of the guru in the classical dance, the guru is somebody to totally imitate, suppose, and not to be questioned too much. I was one in the class which was questioning actually the most because all the other uh, Indian and Oriya girls they were just happy to, to copy and to do what they, what they have been told. I wanted to know why this, what means, what this, what that. So sometimes it was, it was also irritating him. But most of the time, because Guruji was actually the creator of what he was uh, um, teaching, he, he would also reply. And that was what brought me to, um, to continue and not to reach at the end of this process uh, any time. And, uh, and then also real realizing that uh, it was not a technique which I was going to take away, as I thought in the beginning when I came, but it was entire cultural context which was involved and it was taught in continuously reminding me to another meaning and this, and this to another one. So to understand the particular gestures, I had to understand the, the meaning and the place of this gesture inside in a context, in the ritualistic context, in the mythological context, in the historical context. So it was a full culture through the dance vocabulary, through the vocabulary of, it was a full, all the entire culture which was opening to me. So you, you are opening every time a new door and going deep and deep and deep in, the, in it. So, uh, and this is why the entire things capture me. It was like a net around me that which didn't, leave, that didn't let me leave any, anymore. So for which I'm still there. I mean, since 79, I'm still over there very much in Orissa. So I would like just to conclude saying that um, the, uh, finally, the purpose for which I came in 79, uh, which was with another Greek meet when I still thought that I would be ba go back uh, after one year and uh, uh, compose this uh, meet in a, in a theatrical form. Uh, it was a bit of Eco and Narcissus, again from the um, Ovid Metamorphosis. I had come with my small bag very lightly because in any case I thought I would not put roots in anywhere. That was our uh, mentality that time. So it was with this big book of Ovid and this Eco and Narcissus, it was supposed to be could, uh, put up as a play after one year of experience, as I thought, six months here and six months in Kerala. And this meet eventually, when uh, the East-West dance encounter happened, not after one year, but after six years of my stay here, when I had acquired the technique of the chow dance, and uh, I had been asked by, by the um, Georg Lechner, who was the organizer of the East-West Dance Encounter in 1984, um, 85, uh, here in the Max Muller uh, uh, in Bombay. I've been asked uh, to compose something new, creative, not something which was handed over to me by the gurus. So this technique, the chow technique, this meet, 
and my past of uh, being uh, uh, philosophical, uh, psychoanalytical, all this, my, my past studies and all these things, came together and created this synthesis in which I could produce something, create something new uh, with the new technique which I learned, with my past experience and my new content which I had acquired in India. And it became my first innovative choreography of Ico Narcissus in Chow Dance with an electronic music, with the Chow movement which I could expand. And uh, the, so this synthesis happened and uh, probably the two things which had kept separately in my previous uh, avatar, as I call it, before coming to India, the philosophical search and the theater and the physical expression, which were parallel, because one I was pursuing through the philosophical studies and one through the theater, these two things could, got, could get together in a synthesis, and uh, this is what it, it worked. And uh, it, that's why probably I found what I was searching for here in India with my classical training. Thank you. Yeah. Friends, it was such an interesting journey with Ileana that everybody probably would dream to follow that path, right from the improvisational theatre to the theatre of mass, Grotowski to Italian approach to theatre, to Nambodri's Kathakali. And therein she finds that almost a neo avatara apna unko de. Mila, khud ko hi dekhne ko mila. From there to Odyssey with Indrani Rahman, the great, great dancer India has seen, and thereafter to Guru Keluchan Mahapatra. I was reminded of Keluchan Mahapatra the way she was enacting rather the gestures, the postures, the body language, and what not. Great, simply great experience. And thereafter, to find a language through the grammar of these two major forms to express yourself. And what she very pointedly mentioned, that she didn't only go through the external grammar, but she tried to relate to the culture, to the environment, to the living. And this is what is important. यदि कोई आपके रंगमंच को टोक लगा रहा है तो मुझे लगता है कि ये अड़ंगे हैं वो मानसिक भी हो सकते हैं दे कैन बी फिजिकल दे कैन बी मेंटल ब्लॉक्स एंड आल्सो द ब्लॉक्स व्हिच आर देयर इन द कम्युनिकेशन फ्रॉम सोसाइटी टू द एक्टर और क्रिएटर एंड विसाविस रियली थैंक यू एंड आई सॉ एलियाना एंड देयर इज हार्डली एनी चेंज इन पर्सनालिटी in her approach and in her enthusiasm to get grab of the subject and leaving. Thank you very much, ma'am. <laughs> Nina ji, aapko vinti hai. Kindly present your views. Thank you very much. Hello, friends. Sundaki, sir. Uh, firstly, I have to thank uh, National School of Drama um, for inviting me into Theatre Olympics. I'm not from NSD and it's always been a, a, a kind of a lack of self-confidence because I'm not a student of uh, acting. I've learned it hands-on from my guru Satyadev Dubey and uh, Vijaya Mehta. I was, you know, like in the process and that's how I learned it. So there's always a slight uh, hesitation to come and talk uh, about a thing that I still do after all these years and I love doing it, and I'm still trying to be the actress that I want to be. And, uh, but uh, excuse me if I cannot quote or I cannot, I'm not academically equipped to do that. Um, you know, I was listening to Eliana, and uh, I felt envious of her, that we, as our culture, we take so much for granted. We all have our journeys, like Milind also said his journey, and now I, will be, I won't be going through my journey as much. Uh, but yes, I have, it is a journey right from uh, meeting your gurus and then imbibing what you want. But the way she put it, and the way, I guess, coming from a different upbringing into something which we take so much for granted. And today I was so proud that I'm here and born and brought up. And I will try and uh, uh, be objective like she was with the work that I do and not take it so much for granted. 
Thank you, Eliana. Ah, okay, I am going to speak about this subject only. Who shrinks my theater? Well, as I think of that shrinks my theater and that, I know that three fingers are pointing to me. And as Merlin said, it is within us who shrink ourselves not to do. We don't unleash the giant within us. And that's what happens to us. So as far as theater is concerned, uh, when I began, I began theater as a lark, literally. There was no, I had no idea what I was doing. I was this happy-go-lucky elf Estonian who um, had a flair for languages, and I think that's what got me into theater and wherever I went. And um, I was with uh, Panditji for about seven to eight years, and I did about seven to eight productions with him. And I had my college people with me. That was some Sunil Shanbhag, Ratna Pathak, and uh, you know my, my um, uh, husband-to-be, Dilip Kulkarni, Nasiruddin Shah was a friend. And it was just a romp in the fields, literally, you know. It was, I was having fun. Theater for me was fun. It was something to do. It was um, uh, an extracurricular activity, which at that point we didn't have too much of. I mean, if, if you're a sports person, you go and do sports. But for me, it was that. It was just something I went and did compulsively. In Chabel Das, we used to just go and meet over there and then just say lines which we didn't understand, head or tail off. Some books, Sanyastha Kupan was the first place I did. And I had no idea what I was saying. <laughs> and thank God for that. There were no audience, one or two people used to come. So that's how I learned that I love to do this and this only. So as time went by, Vijabai called me for uh, Hamida Vichy Koti because I'd done a workshop with her earlier. And then I met my second guru and my second foray into theater was Marathi professional theater, which I have been doing since then, right up to now. Uh, as I said, I'm, shrink, I'm shrinking my own theater because I don't do as much theater as I should be doing. I really don't, and I should, and what is it? So this subject makes me think about that. I think firstly, it is the times that we lived in. I had uh, gurus and I had uh, directors who were, you know, you, 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 you could look upon them because they were older than you and you were naive and you didn't understand anything and they taught you, they were your teachers. It's like school, you know, we still meet our school teachers, we go all wobbly and say, oh my God, I still I'm not adequate enough, that kind of stuff. So um, I come from that theater where theater was only theater. Otherwise there was films, which was a big no-no. My parents were bad enough, bad, they were very uh, upset that I was doing theater. So that was bad enough. So me getting into films was out of the question at that point of time. So it was theater and theater is what I kept and kept and kept doing, whether it was experimental, whether it was amateur, whether it was professional. I never ever saw the difference between what I was doing. Okay, Marathi, you go at the end of the thing, you give this thing, funnily it's called night for some reason, I don't know why. <laughs> so you got money, which is said, Tumchi night. I guess because we had night theater that time. <laughs> so, um, so that was, it was my pocket money. And then I met my um, partner who was also, a, in fact, he was a very, very keen theater person, Dilip Kulkarni. And, um, he, of course, came from um, experimental theater, an amateur theater, which he uh, you know, started with his friends in uh, banks. And there was interbank competition. There was a lot happening in theater that time, of which you choose a certain thing and you go your path. So I feel theater for an actor is the beginning school. For me, it's school. For my time, people, it's school. Not today anymore, because unfortunately, uh, with a lot of um, avenues opening in mediums, there are people who first get into the medium and then perhaps go. But I think each and every actor at some point of time has to come home to theater. You have to because that is where you learn everything. And um, I think that's what it means for an actor that you don't really leave it. Like I feel a couple of years ago I did my last play which was Chapa Kata. Today when I don't do it, I say it's my age which is true also. I'm a senior citizen and... Uh, uh, the, the, the entire thing of traveling and going from place to place and though it's easier, you have planes, you have, but it is tough, it is tough, it takes it all on you. But more importantly, I feel every time somebody, I get a lot of theater uh, offers, every time somebody offers me something, it's a very exciting thing, you know, they tell you on the phone, Nina ji, aisa aisa hai, ya phir hai, aisa aisa hai, and I say, okay, come narrate to me or let me read the script. And I read the script and something sinks within me. I don't know, I still haven't uh, understood what happens to me, but 
I think for me, theater is perfection. You know, it has to reach my heart, it has to reach my head, and then it can come out. Otherwise, I won't sustain it. I come from an age when, if I'm taking up a script, it is the most secret thing on earth. It is like a, a, a prayer book, you know. I have all my scripts with me. It's that reverential for me, honestly. So I think I hesitate to go into theater full time because I don't want to tamper with it. So it is me who's stopping it, but perhaps it's for a good reason. I know that I still, I did Hamida Bai Chikoti, uh, I played Hamida Bai this time six years ago, then three years ago I did Chapa Kata. So I guess my duration of doing a play is perhaps three years to four years. But I don't think I'll ever stop doing theater. Uh, I read the, uh, you know, the um, letter that they'd written to me in which they'd written it in point forms as to what, uh, who shrinks your theater. So I will be following that up to a point. Uh, theater today, like it's very fashionable to say, oh, it's not the same and you know, when we were there, it was great. No, I disagree completely. Theater is so, there's so much happening even in a commercial place like Mumbai. Even in a commercial, there is Sunil Shanbag doing his own thing somewhere. There is Marathi theater, which I saw Sangeet Deobabri the other day, and I was floored. You know, on professional stage, when you have something coming up like this, it really makes you proud that, yes, theater is an activity. Theater is not something that you go in and earn your money and come out. It's an activity, it's an ongoing activity. And um, see, after all these years, I keep uh, changing my definition of theater and what it means to me. I really feel it is an activity and it is obviously a group activity or I mean you can go solo on stage but there are 10 people standing behind you to make it possible. And um, then there are, you know, small, if okay, there is a problem with auditoriums. For me on a personal level, again, I don't want to get into Marathi professional theatres that easily because honestly there are some theatres which repel me. They are not looked after. There, they are, they are the, perhaps privatization of auditoriums might be the answer to a cleaner environment for actors. I think Milin will agree with me. A lot of actors do feel that way, you know. And then I feel, then why should I do it? Because I carry my theater in my heart. Honestly, I do films, I do television, I do um, ads. I, um, and I, everywhere, it's only my theater that uh, comes in helpful. For me, it is theater in a different form. It's just another, I mean, that's what I learned, right? The sur, the way I talk, what I project, being uh, very, very observant about the medium that I am acting in and not being, okay, I'm only going to do this. No, you can't. If you're doing television, you have to learn the sur of that medium. So where did sur come from? It came from theater. But I learned about pitching and I learned about Dubeji saying the second half of the sentence stronger than the first, you know? I've learned that from there. So it, I always come home to theater. Okay, funding is a thing which I am not really uh, <laughs> proficient to uh, talk about. But, um, you know, Marathi theater fascinates me because the people working in professional Marathi theater are very, very happy. There's a joy in doing that. There are, uh, the stakes are less, definitely. They multitask because they have the uh, means now, there are more mediums available. But they are very, very happy. Me and my husband started with doing only theatre. Of course, he was doing a bank job for which he was paid pittance. So when we were doing theatre, we were uh, sustained on that till we had our children, stuff like that. But I see even today, Marathi professional theatre, the stakes may be small. The tickets are appallingly and ridiculously low for the kind of theater that is given to uh, the audience. I mean, 300 rupees, while you go and pay about 2,000 rupees for something else. I feel bad about it. I'm sorry if I'm being very, very um, open about this, but yes, I keep feeling that these are the things that need to change in funding. Charge higher. Because you know you're giving something very, very good. So if you charge higher, your auditoriums will also be, you'll demand for a better, you know. See, the acoustics, now we have your own acoustics mostly. Mics have come into, that's a different kind of theater. Some people don't agree with it. I wouldn't too till I tried it in Chapakata. You have to learn new, new things. And I did it and I practiced it. And I realized there are um, advantages to it. Like today, I do have a mic when I'm talking. But if I didn't, I would perhaps, you know, project my voice. And that is what you're supposed to do in theater. So uh, I guess keeping open to what is happening in the newer space and not keeping yourself small is what I think uh, theater means and should mean to a lot of people today. 
we have Kamasha Theatre, which uh, Sunil and his team are doing. And uh, I keep talking about Sunil because he's a friend and you know we've grown up together in college. So I keep watching his theatre. There's Motley, who's doing a different kind of theatre. There's Rahul Dikuna's Rage. I mean, there is so much happening. Let's not say there is no theatre. It is there. You may not like some, you may not accept some, but it is happening. And then I come back to this great realization that theatre is a young activity where the old people can also come in and participate because they are required as characters, you know. You can't do without a senior citizen around. <laughs> so I feel it's a young activity and because it's a young activity, it will always go on. There's always a younger crowd to come in and do theatre. I do, I assist uh, my uh, guru Vijay Mehta in her acting uh, workshops and she only takes actors who have already done something. She doesn't start with new people. That's her thing. She says, no, I want people who know the basics of theater and I will take it from there. And I see the enthusiasm, the, the creativity level, the imagination in youngsters when we say that there isn't any imagination, I, I disagree. The more I work with younger people, the more I understand where they are coming from. You know, and I say, okay, there is hope. There is hope of theater being alive through it will withstand anything. You give hajar mediums over here. Theater doesn't go anywhere and it will never go. And that's why I feel very um, uh, placated because I say, okay, if I can't do something now, I can do it tomorrow. I can do it day after. I can go and do some uh, theater in Prithvi. I can go, some, go, do, go and do something in Trishla Patel. I can do it whatever. So the moment you open those avenues, there it is, it's there for you. So um, yes, it does, um, it does irritate me that I take up something, like I've, I like an idea, and then when it's translated into the play, I'm disappointed. Now this, I've tried to examine why am I disappointed? See, when I began uh, with uh, Satyadev Dubey, he wrote the plays, he chose the plays, he gave it to us and we did them. I didn't know who Mohan Rakesh was, but I did it. And then today for me, doing Mohan Rakesh and Adhya Dure doing Binni in that is a matter of pride for me. But that came later, right, in retrospect. When we were doing it, I had no idea what I was doing. So I think we didn't have to choose the scripts. For me, at least that is a big this thing. Today, when I have to choose a script, yes, I have... Post Vijabai's theatre, I have chosen scripts which are interesting for me. Like there's been a Dhyani Mani, there has been a Prem Patra which Vaman Kendri had uh, directed with a very different possibility. The play was the old uh, play, Love Letters, but in Marathi we translated into Prem Patra and Abhiram Bhadkamkar again from NST had done a very good job with it. And uh, the possibility of theatre over there which Vaman had directed. So I have done these plays which I have chosen to do. But then why is it that today, or even Chapa Kata, I must tell you a very interesting thing, if somebody could op open out what this dilemma for me is, who shrinks it, you know. Uh, when Chapa Kata came to me, Chapa Kata is a, a play written by Iravati uh, Karnik, and it's, it's really a wonderful play. It's about the mother and daughter and the complexities of their relationship. And I had seen the play, obviously, because uh, my friend Mukta Barwe had produced it, and my dearest friend Rima had acted in it. And uh, so it was already a set play. So when uh, Rima didn't want to do the play and she left it, uh, my name came up and I spoke to her and obviously then it was done. Now I took it with the confidence because I knew what ground I was treading into. I knew the director, I knew, Acha, this is the thing, I'm getting into a space which is, which is um, comfortable, no, I would say which is comforting for me. So you know, I think getting into a space, I've even done plays sometimes which I've said okay to. I must give an example, I, I don't know, this is going to be recorded so I'm going to be like, <laughs> blacklisted. But uh, a few years ago, uh, Sai Paranspe was doing uh, Zaswandi again. Now, I love that play. I think it is one of her best written pieces. I had seen the original and uh, Vijabai had directed it, Vijay Mehta, and she had acted in it also along with Vikram Gokhale. And when I was asked for it, I jumped. I jumped at it, you know. And I went there and within the first two days, I realized that I am no longer that See, that's a woman in her 40s, and perhaps I was asked when I was in my 50s or 60s. So mentally, or even physically, I could not match that thing. Secondly, Sai had a very different perspective of her own play. It was not the play that I had seen in my head, you know? So I sat down and I spoke to her, and she said, yeah, but we'll work something out. I said, yeah, but for me, theater is not working something out. It has to be bang on, otherwise it's... See, it can fall, fail later, but at least I have to have the willing suspension of disbelief to get into it, you know? 
I need to be knowing that this is what I want to do 100%. And after two years, I left the play, and then Sai wasn't talking to me for about three, four years, till uh, lately, <laughs> when she forgave me that. And says she also took a much younger actress for that. So I think somewhere what I said made a, a point with her. And they went on to do a lot of shows. So sometimes, you know, is it the just falling in love with the script that I have read and been with? I it shouldn't happen like that. But then, Chapakata was a new play, or uh, the plays that I did with Deha Bahan was a completely new play. But the playwright was known to me. So I think for theater, it has to be complete surrender for me. If I cannot surrender into the script, I don't know whether I want to do it. And as I said, I apply it every day when I go and do my Yeha Mohabbati Mrs. Ayer. Every single day, I pay attention to my pitch and my sur and where I'm looking, what I'm doing, and that's theatre for me. And sometimes the, uh, you know, in television, the situations that come to you are so ridiculous that I think I'm doing absurd theatre that day. But it's Mrs. Ayer, the character who's doing it, so she can go anywhere. What? Who has given me this? Theatre has given me this. That I know Mrs. Ayer, the character, so well that you can put her anywhere today. You put her under hot water, she'll be Mrs. Ayer and she'll come out that way. So, you know, I just feel that what this space, this little space over here has given me, and every time an offer comes to me, I want to chuck everything else and go into it. I think that excitement of theatre should by itself remove the shrinkage that has happened in my head or in my mind. And since I've had an opportunity to open my heart to you and speak, in fact, when Yasha Yikav <laughs> called me up, I said, I don't know what I'm going to say. I'm not active in theatre anymore. But yes, I think I am active because I do go and watch a lot of theatre. I do go and um, enjoy spaces, just going and sitting in Prithvi or just going to Shivaji Mandir and meeting somebody. I do that. So, you know, that lagav never goes. It's always there. So I thought I could. And he said, speak from your heart. So I have done that. <laughs> and um, I, as I said, I really don't think there's anything wrong with what is happening in theatre today. I don't think. I can't say in hard times. No, you can't say. Okay, probably the youngsters don't have the gurus who are available to us very freely. But then, as Milin said, they could go to schools. I haven't, so I'm an unpad uh, actress, you know, in that sense. So they can, if they want to, or they can learn hands on like I did. I've learned hands-on and it's been a wonderful experience, honestly. Because, you know, learning on the job is something which is so tremendously creative. Every day you're discovering a new aspect about yourself. You're failing miserably, you're overacting, you're underacting, you, you can't remember, whatever it is, but you learn on the job. So I think the only thing perhaps that they don't have somebody to look, look up to, like we had so easily, they were so easily available. There was Sunta Kesar, there was al Kazi, whose stories we'd heard about from Vijay Mehta. There were people who we could blindly follow. When Vijay Mahi said, Nini, you don't want to do I don't ask her, you know, Kai bhai, maza role kai? No. So I guess we too miss that today, and the youngsters don't have those, but then they find their way, and that's what it is. It's eventually self-discovery. It's... Uh, I mean, I can quote actually a little bit. Uh, well, someone said that uh, theatre is the biggest lie that takes us closest to the truth. So I think I like living this lie and I will continue living this lie even though I may not be in this particular space for the longest time. Thank you. Thank you, Neenaji. Neenaji took us on a long, long drive right from her younger days which she is still young. And she has one word to say that I was going to take a look at the theater. But she was fortunate to have a good place She was fortunate to have around that time. Nina Ji was really fortunate to have gurus like Satya Dev Dube. I'm sorry we claim Mr. Alkazi with his institutional background is one of the was one of the greatest teacher, <coughs> but Satya Deyo Dube, <coughs> jaise ki apne aapko, <coughs> sorry, Avara kaita tha. Wo theater ka Avara apne aap se itna pareshan aur itna asantusht rehta tha. Aur us asantushta ka hissa wo apne saath aane wale sabhi youngsters ko karwa leta tha. They were really fortunate, Nina ji, who had the company of Satyajit 
सत्यदेव दुबे दुबे का थिएटर उस जमीन को शायद ही मतलब छूता था वो हमेशा मतलब हराइजन पे पहुंचता था और वो पहुंच जो है उसके मार्ग अलाइदा होते थे वो मार्ग हर नाटक के साथ हर प्रोजेक्ट के साथ अलग बनते थे वो मस्ती में कहते थे और जो शब्द कहना नहीं चाहिए था लेकिन एक अंतर्राष्ट्रीय और राष्ट्रीय सेमिनार में उन्होंने पृथ्वीराज कपूर हमारे शंभु शंभुदा हबीब तनवीर इनके साथ ने कहा था मैं थिएटर करता हूँ क्योंकि मुझे थिएटर करने की खुजली है ये खुजली होना मुझे लगता है ये छोटी बात नहीं है और वो खुद को होना यहाँ तक ठीक है लेकिन अपने सभी साथियों तक वो पहुँचा देना मुझे लगता है ये अचीवमेंट की बात है देन शी हैड बाई हु इज मोर देन मदर टू हर आई नो आई मीन शी वॉज ग्रेट हैविंग अ रोल ऑफ पेरेंट्स ऑलमोस्ट टू दिलीप एंड नीना जी लेकिन बाई का एक है कि वो मात्र छाया हुआ करती थी आप नाटक नहीं सीखते थे आप जीना सीखते थे उनके साथ एंड शी वॉज फॉर्चुनेट टू हैव ग्रेट प्ले राइट एंड प्लेज विद हर वेर इन नीना जी हैज पार्टिसिपेटेड हमिदा बाई जी कोठी और छापा काटा ये दो नाटक जिंदगी में एक्ट्रेस कर ले तो मुझे लगता है कि वो सर्वस्व प्राप्त कर चुके हैं एंड शी वॉज फॉर्चुनेट टू गो थ्रू दैट एक्सपीरियंस थैंक यू वेरी मच दोस्तों उन्होंने बताया कि मतलब समस्या बाहर नहीं है कोई मेरा थिएटर सिकुड़ नहीं रहा है यदि कोई प्रॉब्लम है तो यहाँ है उसे खोलने की ज़रूरत है और वो खोलने की ज़रूरत इतिहास में हमेशा से रही है अब मैं थोड़ा सा मैंने इसके लिए कोई बहुत ज़्यादा तैयारी नहीं की जिसकी मुझे ज़रूरत भी नहीं थी क्योंकि मेरे साथ ये जो मेरे संरक्षक है इन्होंने विषय का विस्तार बहुत अच्छी तरह से किया है दोस्तों लेकिन मैं सवाल पूछने की क्षमता तब मेरे पास आई जब मैं दिल्ली में राष्ट्रीय नाट्य विद्यालय में छात्र करके चुना गया उस समय अब आई वॉज जस्ट अ रॉ पर्सन ही इज़ फ्रॉम अहमदनगर आई एम क्लोजली फ्रॉम औरंगाबाद रॉनेस हमारा दोनों का धर्म वही है हमारी मतलब राशि भी वही है और हमारा बेतुकापन होना भी वही है वो आज बहुत संभल के बोले क्यों पता नहीं मुझे <coughs> आ, तो मुझे जो मंच के हद तक देखने को दिल्ली में मिला अपार्ट फ्रॉम नेशनल स्कूल ऑफ ड्रामा आई वॉज फॉर्चुनेट टू विटनेस द प्लेज ऑफ शंभू मित्रा उत्पल दत्त हबीब तनवीर इन एडिशन टू नेशनल स्कूल ऑफ ड्रामा आई एम डिलिब्रेटली एंड कॉन्शियसली यूजिंग दीज नेम सम ऑफ यू माई टेव हर्ड सम ऑफ यू हैव सीन हिज वर्क ऑफ दीज पीपल फ्रेंड्स ऑल ऑफ देम वेर पार्ट ऑफ इप्टा इंडियन पीपल्स थिएटर एंड इट वॉज मोर अ सोशल मूवमेंट रादर देन अ थिएटर मूवमेंट सोशल मूवमेंट बिकॉज वी वेर मोस्ट ऑफ दीज पीपल वेर फ्रीडम स्ट्रगल मूवमेंट पीपल दे केम टू थिएटर दे केम टू थिएटर विद अ पैशन टू चेंज द सोसाइटी टू चेंज द सोसाइटी एंड अंडरस्टैंड योर ओन सेल्फ योर ओन एग्जिस्टेंस योर ओन लाइफ और इस मिशन पे निकले हुए ये लोग थे लेकिन इनके मार्ग भिन्न थे शंभुदा बिलोंग्स टू द क्लासिकल मोड ऑफ एक्सप्रेशन इसलिए उनके नाटक जो थे अधिकतर नाटक मोस्ट ऑफ इज प्लेज दे वेर रविंद्रनाथ टागोर प्लेस पोएटिक प्लेस विद अ डिफरेंट स्टाइल ऑफ एक्टिंग देन ही एडेप्टेड सम ऑफ इप्सेंस प्लेज ऑल्सो and other modern plays also but basically he was a classicist he did edipus rex also and i can't forget edipus rex done by shambhuda i can quote and read that it was far far different than some of the uh, peter otul and paul scofield and alexanis also it was one of the finest even uh, girish did uh, that role but shambhuda's performance om shopuri did uh, in at national school of drama because he has 
a searching mind of an Indian. It was not from Greek point of view or Western's point of view that search was from Indian's point of view and there are several connotations to be an Indian to approach. Utpaldat was a movement man, a leftist person. He adapted most of the Russian plays for his theatre, but his way of expression was Jatra. He was inspired by Jatra, the local folk performing arts form, and that's why he had music, he has strong lighting, great scenic background. On one hand, he has all these modern adaptations of theatre, which were close to film at that time, as it was claimed. Moreover, he was blessed to have some of the best actors of Bengali theatre doing small little roles, as we can claim of Broadway or West End. Then Habibda, which is claimed that uh, he was close to Nach, he was close to Macha, I don't believe in it. He was close to himself only. He was again a RADA student for a few years. He came back. But he wanted to have the theatre of his own idiom, of his own language. He selected not only the urban uh, actors, but he selected uh, folk artists from Raipur area, who were the folk form performers. And they gave additional color and additional dimension to his theater productions. He did classical Sanskrit plays also, Mitti Kagada, Mudra Rakshasa, I assisted him in sets and lighting in Delhi. Those were his productions. Friends, believe me, these three giants doing theater in their time, or they were contemporary, they had different ways of expression, and still they had the audience which loved them throughout the country. Mr. Alkazi's theatre was different theatre. His was educational institute's theatre. He was not bound by any political or social ideology, but being a teacher, he was true to all forms which we were fortunate to have learned under him, both in production direction classes or, and on the stage also. Now, when we compare our situation today, कौन है ऐसा कि जो हमारे थिएटर को मतलब दबोच रहा है? कौन सी शक्ति है? मुझे लगता है वो शक्ति ना तो राइटर है, ना तो डायरेक्टर है, ना एक्टर है, ना जो एक और पक्ष है दर्शक है। मुझे लगता है कि यदि कोई दबा रहा है या यदि कोई आक्रमण कर रहा है या जिसका हमें भय लगता है कि हम आक्रमित हो रहे हैं ये भाई है ये संशय है वास्तव नहीं है वास्तव ये है कि हम एक दूसरे से टूट चुके हैं आई एम सॉरी द वे वी यूज टू एक्सचेंज उत्पल बादल सरकार का एक नाटक आता था तो 6 महीने के अंदर उसके कलकत्ता में प्रदर्शन हो रहे हैं बंबई में प्रदर्शन हो रहे हैं बेंगलोर में प्रदर्शन हो रहे हैं वो आदान प्रदान द एक्सचेंज it shrink it is shrinking today and it is because of that probably we are ignorant about each other's work i think yadi hame koi shrink kar raha hai to ye aadan pradan ka jo dhar raha hai dhacha hai neither we are concerned about it i'm sorry to say i was very restless i was sharing with vaman also yesterday i was sharing uh, with the uh, bhaiya also uh, ashok bhai कितने लोग मंच के हैं कि जो इस सेमिनार देखने सुनने लाभान्वित होने के लिए आ रहे हैं। It's a national event being organized in your area in your town and we are probably I'm sorry to say हमारी मानसिक दरिद्रता है कि हम उससे कटे रहना चाहते हैं। उसके कारण कुछ भी हो सकते हैं मतलब could be justified also but ये अलगाव जो है यदि श्रिंग करने का कोई एक महत्वपूर्ण पक्ष है तो ये पक्ष है दूसरा अहंकार का पक्ष भी है हम अपने आप को स्वयंपूर्ण मानते हैं और वो स्वयंपूर्णता अज्ञान का ही एक मतलब स्तर होता है 
When we do amateur theatre, we are very happy. If you learn the biographies of great actors all over the country, right from Om Puri to Nasir Bhai to other artists also who are not National School of Drama artists, in their school days, they used to improvise things from the stories, from Ramayans, from Mahabharat, and entertain themselves and entertain even their biradar jisko kai sakte hain. Waha gyan nahi hota tha, ek agyan ka star hota hai, us mein wo anand lete te. Maharashtra mein amateur theater ki yod bhoat bhoat badi matra par, matlab natak khele jate hain, Hindi Pradesho mein bhi khele jate hain. Amateur theater ke log jo hai, unke जो नाटक है उसके ऊपर उनकी श्रद्धा होती है उस श्रद्धा के साथ वो एनेक्ट करते हैं एंड दैट्स वाई देयर देयर गुडविल एंड देयर ऑडियंस मेंबर आल्सो कंसिस्ट ऑफ दोज पीपल हु आर नॉट इंटरेस्टेड व्हाट डिफरेंट स्कूल्स आर देयर इन गुड थिएटर एंड व्हाट फॉर्म्स आर देयर इन थिएटर दे ओनली एन्जॉय दैट आवर किन्स एंड किट्स आर ट्राइंग टू नरेट अ स्टोरी विच इज नोन टू देम एंड विच इज एनलाइटनिंग मी ये अज्ञान का है लेकिन श्रद्धा का भाव इसमें है दैट्स वाई द एमेचर थिएटर इज ऑल्सो सेफ देन कम्स टू क्रिएटिव थिएटर एक्सपेरिमेंटल थिएटर एक्सपेरिमेंटल थिएटर हु हैज द राइट टू डू एक्सपेरिमेंट मेरे अज्ञानवश यदि मैं सोशल प्ले लेता हूँ कानेटकर का लीजिए या और किसी का ले लीजिए और उसे यदि काले मतलब पर्दों के साथ और चार मतलब कुर्सियाँ की जगह मतलब चौकियाँ रख के करता हूँ वो एक्सपेरिमेंटल थिएटर नहीं होता है एक्सपेरिमेंटल थिएटर प्रोफेशनल थिएटर कमर्शियल थिएटर ये विचारों के साथ होता है एंड हियर आई एम रिमाइंडेड ऑफ सम ऑफ द इम्पॉर्टेंट स्कूल्स ऑफ थिएटर ट्रेनिंग थिएटर अप्रोच पीटर ब्रूक ही probably is one of the leading torch lights of modern day theater nab nabbe saal ke umr mein bhi he was active aur yahan kuch gyani log baithe hain wo jante hain ki rope walk ka unka exercise hai ye rope walk ka exercise zindagi bhar aapko matlab pura pade jaise ki bharatnatyam ka prashikshan ya odc ka प्रशिक्षण पड़ता है उतना ही महत्वपूर्ण ये रोप वॉक का उनका मतलब एक्सरसाइज जो है और इसके लिए पीटर ओटुल जैसे लोग भी अपने आप को उनके साथ प्रोडक्शन में ढाते थे तीन साल में थ्री मंथ्स दे वर्क विथ पीपल लाइक पीटर ब्रूक एंड पार्टिसिपेटेड अ प्रोडक्शन और द अदर बट एट द एंड ऑफ द डे ही कमिट्स टू हिमसेल्फ That I did everything. I did, मतलब miracle on stage with stage craft and equipments and music and extrovert. But at the end of his life, he was also convinced that ultimately, this is all extrovert. This is all external. Ultimately, it is the thought content. Ultimately, it is the human body which communicates and not the its extravaganza. Grotowski also said the same thing. Or you go to breath. मैं जानबूझकर ये उदाहरण ये आपके सामने रखना चाहता हूँ कि they did their theatre in their given context. उनकी समाज स्थिति, the social environment, the intellectual environment, चाहे Merhold ले लीजिए, Merhold was probably the colleague of Stanislavs के but he revolted against the uh, stanislas ke system and constructivism mein chale gaye wo he changed the ideas and what he suffered he was banned he was imprisoned unko matlab mara gaya unki patni ko matlab she was murdered literally aur usi mein usi ke aghat mein unki bhi matlab unka bhi ant ho gaya टेररिस्ट करके उनको मतलब ने ऐलान कर दिया गया एंड आफ्टर हिज डेथ वो चालीस के उन्नीस में चले गए एंड ड्यूरिंग 55 फाइव ही वॉज उनके मतलब दोष आरोप जो है उनके निकाले गए 
दोस्तों दे वे रिएक्टिंग टू देयर सोसाइटी जैसे मैंने बताया इप्टा के समय जो उद्देश्य था इस देश को स्वतंत्र देश को सुराज्य बनाना है लोगों के ऊपर जो अत्याचार है वो हटाने हैं लोगों को अपने हक दिलवाने हैं ये उद्देश्य था आज की हाल आज के हालात जो है क्षमा करना हमारे आपे के बाहर हो गए हैं हमें अपना दुश्मन दिखाई नहीं दे रहा है यदि मैं क्रिटिसाइज करना चाहता हूँ तो किसके किस किस किसे की क्रिटिसाइज कर सकता ब्रिटिशर्स को हमने क्रिटिसाइज किया एक ज़माने में आज हमारा शत्रु हमें दिखाई नहीं देता है क्योंकि वो सुप्तावस्था में चहो दिशाओं से हम पे आक्रमण करने के लिए तैयार है दे आर नॉट ओनली पीपल एट द पावर हेल्म ऑफ द पावर बट दे आर ऑल्सो विद इन योर मुझे लगता है कि इन स्थितियों को बदलना पड़ेगा हमें वो दर्शक नहीं मिल रहा है जो हमसे अमेचर नाटक की तरह प्यार करता है वो दर्शक हमें लाना है जुटाना है कल के रंगमंच के लिए I think we will have to equip as an actor in all probable disciplines. As the yesterday ke Vaman ji ke matlab keynote address me tha ki after 20 years we will be ruling the world theatre. Yadi wo karna hai if we intend to have that an objective, then I think the Indian actor will have to train his body. इन द क्लासिकल एंड फोक ऑल्सो स्टाइल एट द सेम टाइम कल जैसे मैंने गुजराती नाटक में कहा था कि अपनी वाणी पर काम करना एंड टू डू द मैगजिम टू ड्रॉ द मैगजिम इम्पैक्ट एंड इफेक्ट थ्रू मिनिमम मीन्स यहाँ प्रदीप राणे शफा जी जैसे लोग बैठे हैं इनका सार्थ नाटक बिल्कुल ही नगण्य चीज़ों से निर्माण हुआ था क्योंकि उसका विषय उसका आशय बहुत महत्वपूर्ण था तो मुझे लगता है कि ये जो भय ये जो आतंक है वो हमारे लैक ऑफ कम्युनिकेशन से है अज्ञान से है आउट ऑफ इग्नोरेंस है उसको हम ब्रिज करें आज जैसे नीना ने कहा तो मुझे लगता है कि ये अचीव करना मुश्किल नहीं होगा आपने इतने ध्यान से सुन लिया हम चारों को इसके लिए मैं आपके प्रति आभार व्यक्त करता हूँ और अगले आदेश क्या है मैं अशोक भाई से पूछूंगा शांतनु थैंक यू शांतनु थैंक यू थैंक यू सो मच टू ऑल ऑफ यू फॉर गिविंग सच अ शेयरिंग योर लर्निड एक्सपीरियंस विथ अस एंड थैंक यू ऑल देर इज अ लिटिल लंच बॉक्स वेटिंग आउटसाइड फॉर ऑल ऑफ यू वी विल ऑल गैदर अराउंड इन एन आवर आई थिंक इट्स वन थर्टी सो वी गैदर अराउंड अराउंड टू थर्टी and uh, five very bright minds have been observing and uh, seeing hearing the seminars from yesterday uh, so chismita bhattacharji sanyukta thorat uh, manaswini lata ravindra lika klemova and uh, jayant shiftekar and from 230 onwards we will hear their views uh, both nationally and internationally on the seminar and from their perspective as well and uh, i hope we all see you uh, again at 230 and please join us for lunch thank you <laughs>